For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the reactions on the bent rod, which is supported by a smooth surface at B and by a color at A, which is fixed to the rod and is free to slide over the fixed inclined rod. So basically, since this uh, point at A is a slider, it has to have a reaction as so. This is the reaction A, and it's perpendicular to this uh, line right here. The fact that it's perpendicular, and you're given this triangle right here, that means you can translate the tri that triangle right here. And since you know that it's perpendicular, you got to invert the 4 and the 3, and this will be the 5. And then over here, you got to do something similar. You have a perpendicular reaction right here, we call it reaction B, and this is an angle of 90 degrees, and since it's perpendicular, you can translate this triangle right here, that's the same triangle, except that you gotta invert the 12 and the 5, so this is 12, and this is 5, and this is 13. So remember, this is a 13, it's not a B, it looks kinda like my B. So that being said, now it's, it becomes a very easy problem to solve. Sometimes the hardest part is drawing the right uh, free body diagram, but I just did it for you. So, you know that the sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. And let's assume going clockwise is positive. So, here at A, let's say we have a moment at A. Let's say we have a moment at A going right here, moment at A plus this moment, which is 200 uh, foot-pounds, plus 200 foot-pounds, plus the moment being created by this 100 pound force, which is 100 times 3, minus the moment being created by the normal force at B, which can be divided into two parts. The, this is, let's call it normal at B. The normal at B, times 12 over 13 would give you the component going up of uh, the normal at B and it has to be multiplied by this line of action and that line of action has a length of 6 3 plus 3 times 6 and then you have the normal at B going to the left which is positive normal at B going to the left, which can be calculated by multiplying the normal at B uh, times 5 over 13, according to this triangle right here, times 2, because it's turning this line of action right here, which has a length of 2 feet. And all of that is equal to 0. So, this uh, formula, when you uh, clean it up a little bit, you make it look something like this. The moment at A minus 4.77 times the normal at B is equal to negative 500. So let's call that our first formula. Now, we need more formulas in order to find our two variables. So we know that the sum of the forces at x is equal to 0. So at x we got the normal at a times 4 over 5, according to this triangle right here, will give us the x component of a, going to the right, minus the normal at b times 5 over 13, which is to give us the x component of the normal at b going to the left. And that is equal to 0. So when you clean this up, you get that the normal at A is equal to 0.481, the normal at B. Let's call this formula 2. And we do the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to 0. Now in the Y, we got the normal at A going up, which is the normal at A times 3 over 5, according to this triangle. It gives us the Y component of the normal at A minus the 100 pound force plus the normal at B 
times 12 over 13 give us the y component of the normal AB and that is equal to 0 so if we clean this up a little bit we get 0 0.6 the normal AA plus 0.923 the normal AB is equal to 100 let's call this formula 3 and with formula 2 and formula 3 you can actually solve for the normal A and the normal B the way, um, let me turn the page the way I did it is I plugged in formula 2 into formula 3 and I get, I get it to look something like this 0 0.6 times 0 0.481 the normal B plus 0.9 2, 3, the normal AB is equal to 100 and this becomes a very simple algebraic equation to solve you get a 1.21 the normal AB is equal to 100 and then you get that the normal AB is equal to 82.5 pounds then you plug that into anyone you want it's easy if you plug it into equation 2 and you get that the normal at A is equal to 39.7 pounds so we got the two normals and then the last one uh, that you got to do you got to plug these two values into the first equation and in the first equation you solve for the moment at A and you get that the moment at A is equal to negative 106.475 foot pounds the fact that it's negative it just means that it was going the opposite way that we originally assumed because we assumed it was going clockwise because as you can see right here we assumed that clockwise was positive but since it's negative all it means is that the moment at A is 106.475 foot pounds going kind of clockwise so all you got to do is uh, correct it in your little diagram and just put that it's going the opposite way I make a note that you corrected it in case you decide to go back and it doesn't make sense why did I put negative I drew it this way so final answer for the moment final answer for the normal and final answer for the normal array please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you